So hi everyone, um, Garden Guy Bill here, and uh, I am filming the second part of uh, a tiny little video series that I'm making um, about me getting ready for a big vintage marketplace that's happening tomorrow uh, in the town where the antique store that I work at is located. Um, I am putting together a Garden Guy Bill themed uh, uh, booth tomorrow full of garden inspired vintage items as well as live house plants. So if you saw the first part of this video series, you saw me prepare all of the plants and planters that I'm bringing to the sale. Um, they're all loaded up in my car right now upstairs and after getting everything loaded up, I realized I had some space to actually bring some of the vintage items that I'll be selling tomorrow as well. I thought I was going to have to bring all of that tomorrow morning. So I'm down in my inventory room right now to pick out some items to bring tomorrow. And as I said, the types of vintage items that I like to bring to, um, to the marketplaces in person uh, tend to be the sorts of things that I don't um, like to sell online. Larger items, uh, large ceramic or large glass items, things that are difficult to pack. Of course, I need to bring some small things. People love to pick up little small things. And of course, I am going to have quite a few vintage planters. Um, those are actually in another room in my house, so I will film those at another time. But right now, I'm just going to try to pick out a few items uh, to, uh, to pack up and bring to the market tomorrow. So uh, I'll take you through my inventory and maybe what I pick out is what you're seeing as well. Uh, maybe I missed something, I don't know, but uh, let's go. Okay, so on my work table is in the middle of this particular part of the inventory room. It is the full basement. Um, I put out two containers and these are the bins that I'm hoping to fit in my car today. Now, over the last few days, I have been setting aside some items that I know that I want to bring. So these items will get packed up and put into the bins. And of course, I'm gonna wrap everything really well. Uh, for instance, I have this really beautiful canister that has some flowers on the front of it. I have this gorgeous um, old coffee or hot chocolate container with the dandelion on it. I love these things uh, in the house, even if you don't use them for uh, for beverages. I, because they're so beautiful, I like setting them around in my decor and I keep water in them. So I always have water handy to water my house plants because they make an amazing watering can and they look good. And the other thing about having water sitting out in a vessel is that it raises the humidity in your, in your space and plants really like that. So I'm gonna bring this as well. And again, I'm gonna pack all these up really nicely um, later after I show you what I have. I always wanna bring some glass. So I decided to bring this beautiful green crackle glass down in the bottom here, I have a couple planters and I will be bringing a bunch of different si sorts of planters, different sizes, different colors, different companies. I also love bringing artwork. So I have this beautiful dried floral, hopefully can find a home for it. I have this beautiful print of what look to be peonies to me. Then I have some of the left in rustic daisy pieces, which are just so beautiful. The teapot, the sugar, and the tray. I actually have this really beautiful new old stock um, sh uh, uh, twin sheet set with the floral on it. I just like to have a variety of items for people. Another beautiful planter back here. This is some wall art from the 60s or 70s with the hummingbird with flowers. So those are the sorts of things that I want to bring. I, I have protected a little bit more here in the front, this beautiful ceramic of this girl in her garden. So she's going to be coming as well. But I'm just going to uh, walk around the space quickly to see if I can find anything else to sort of bring. Here I have a lot of my ceramics, things that I like to sell online. Um, I may pull one or two of these angels, especially if they're summer and they have flowers. Uh, I might grab this little guy, this little planter. People love their puppies, so I'll, I'll pop him in the box. Um, I love her too. She's a planter, but she's got to go to a live sale. I love her. A lot of puppies and kitties. I might grab a few animals at some point in tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be filling in the spaces, so I'll save all the little stuff for tomorrow. But I'm just looking for some garden themed um, items 
for tomorrow. And I like to bring, as I said, things that are on the larger size. I have some old uh, Shawnee and American bisque planters up here. I might grab a few of those. Again, really trying to stick on the garden theme. So yeah, maybe these apple salt and pepper shakers. People, you always have to have a few salt and pepper shakers at the sale. People are always looking for them. Oh, and I might grab these flower ones too because they match the left in daisy, daisy pattern that I have. Let's see, what else? Let's go down here. A lot of cookie jars. I have a lot of cookie jars. Oh, I, I definitely, I'm gonna grab these. Um, these apples and strawberries, Hazel Atlas apples and strawberries. So we'll bring those. Um, all right, so just looking around, I hope y'all don't find this boring. Oh, we gotta bring the radish salt and pepper shakers. Who doesn't love their radishes? Oh, and I have another set of those flower salt and pepper shakers. I'll probably bring those as well. Oh, we gotta bring those ladies too. I think they're radishes as well. Oh, and we gotta bring the anthropomorphic peas. Okay, there's lots of salt and pepper shakers I'm gonna grab and add to the box. All right, so this stuff is mine. These are my holiday planters. They don't go. I have a big collection of Tupperware. Um, I'm saving that all for a future sale. Um, I probably will grab this sugar, this bamboo sugar container. It's really lovely and it's bigger, so I'd rather sell it in person than ship it. I do have some more art over here and I'll probably look through it uh, and take a couple of those. Let's see, oh, I have these little glass cluster of grapes. That'll be a nice filler on the table somewhere. Hmm, what else do I wanna bring? Oh, I have this lovely hot chocolate set, but I think I wanna save that for, for a sale. Oh, I'll probably bring strawberry shortcake. I have this strawberry shortcake pitcher uh, juice pitcher. I love that. So that'll probably come with me. Oh, and I have this really pretty Andrea Bysatic cake plate, which is really great at an event like this because not only is it something I can sell, but it's something that gives me another level to stack things on. Oh, I have the Rustic Daisy napkin holder too. So let's grab that. And this is just one corner of my inventory room. So I have some ephemera. I don't usually bring ephemera to the in-person sales only because they do so well online. Um, I might grab the Sun Tea container since summer is coming up. And for people who lived in the 70s, that's really, really nostalgic, I think. All right, so I have a good amount started. I'm going to take a break right now and pack up what I have chosen uh, and show you what I have packed up and then figure out how much more space I have before I choose any more. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, here we are, mission accomplished. I have everything wrapped up loosely because I'm gonna have to unwrap it one more time once I get these upstairs, take them outside, clean them, price them, um, so I don't want to have everything wrapped up too tightly, but I think I have everything for this first round that I want to bring. I don't want to bring too much because I still have to bring at least two of these bins of vintage planters, which I have again in another room. So I need to select those when I get home tonight. Um, so I don't want to go too overboard on the small vintage stuff until I know how much space I have. So I'm going to grab my tablecloths, my Garden Guy Bill tablecloths, and I'm going to take these upstairs and unwrap everything one more time, get it priced, then load it all up in the car, hopefully before uh, the next hour ends because I need to start heading out to the location to set up. We need to be there by 5 p.m. So I'll be back in touch. Okay, I'm back out at the car and um, two totes of vintage have been all wrapped. Uh, packed up and priced and ready to uh, head to the Elks Club right now where we will be holding our vintage marketplace tomorrow to do my initial setup. Um, the structure of the setup with the shelving that I'm going to use, uh, placing the plants first, then filling in any gaps with, um, with the vintage that we just picked out and probably on the floor underneath the table all of those contemporary pots that I'll be selling for a dollar um, just to find homes for them. So I am going to show you quickly again what the back of the of the vehicle looks like and then I'm gonna head out. 
So here we are with everything packed up. Uh, I added the two additional bins um, and uh, some things in the front seat that I need like tablecloths and price tags, the cash box, those sorts of things. Um, but the plants are all in here safe and snug and they are the priority. They're the star of the show. But I do have some vintage items that I'm going to place in between. And while I actually have more room in the car tonight, I could bring some more things. I'm not sure how much space I'm gonna have on the table. And again, the priority here is to sell the plants and the pots because a lot of my vintage items, I actually enjoy selling online. Um, so uh, they're really uh, for fill in. Um, I do have a couple of high-end things that I brought just in case there's some collectors that come by. It's always good to have something for everyone. And then a lot of other items that are just a few dollars for people to pick up and have some fun with. So uh, I'll catch you when I am parked out in front of the Elks Club so you can take a look at the space that we'll be in and how I set it up. Okay, so I just pulled up to uh, the location for the market tomorrow. And as usual, I'm a little early. I'm the only one here right now. So I'm just gonna hang out and wait for everyone else to come so that I can show you how we're going to set up. I think we actually need to set up all the tables first and then um, then we'll find out where we're assigned. I'm kind of hoping I'm near the stage because when you're near the stage, you get a little extra room. <clears throat> but since I'm early, I'll just tell you all how disappointed I am because uh, on the way here, I'm always excited when I come to this town because there's a McDonald's and I don't go to McDonald's all that often. But right now, McDonald's has this amazing new McFlurry, uh, a strawberry shortcake McFlurry. And I was really excited to get one, sort of to give me the energy that I needed to get through this next few hours, but they were out of them and I was so darn disappointed. So. So yeah, I've got to get over my disappointment and hope that everyone else arrives so that we can we can get this marketplace set up for tomorrow. So I will be back with you all soon once people are here. Okay, here is the space and this is the before. Here's the stage I was talking about. So we need to set up the tables. What we normally do is one big square around the perimeter and then here in the middle, two smaller squares with an aisle down the middle. So right now we're working on bringing all these big tables out so that we can get the space ready for setup. Okay, here we are. I'm at this table here in the corner, 12 foot long table, and I brought everything in. Just wanted to give you a peek before I set it up. So all the plants are here, the two bins of vintage, my pots, which I don't think now I'm going to be able to put on the floor because they just refinished it. So I'm going to have to figure that out, but I do have a little bit of space on the stage back here, so I may use that to my advantage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shelf here and the crates over here to sort of build some height so that I can get as much on here as possible. Now that I'm looking at the tables, I think I'm going to be able to bring some more vintage from home. So I'll be back in a little while with an update. Okay, everything that I brought today is unpacked and clearly I need to bring quite a bit more. So I have my crates set up with some of the items and the plants. Just do a quick look. Yeah, I have a lot of empty spaces, which is good. I'm glad, glad to know that. I didn't want to over plan, but I clearly have a lot of area for some things. I think I'll bring some more artwork. I have a lot. I can lay them flat on this area. Just a lot of, a lot of space stuff, which is great. Again, really keeping this table very garden themed. I have my big corner. A big corner with a lot of plants and salt and pepper shakers. Just really gorgeous. Really love it. And I, the only thing I don't have placed right now are the pots on the floor. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I'll figure it out in the morning. Okay, I'm back home now from the Elks Lodge where we're having the marketplace, and I'm in my home office, which also holds some of my collection of vintage planters that don't fit elsewhere and actually some of my some of my pixies as well 
So I'm going to try to pull maybe 12 to 15 planters to bring with me tomorrow to fill those empty spaces that, um, that I have on my table. So I'm just going to grab some. I'll set them out on the dresser and then make some final decisions. Um, but I definitely think I want to bring Mr. Gnome here because I got to have at least one gnome or pixie like thing at the sale just to represent me. Um, let's see, what else do I want to bring? People really seem to like these USA pottery planters that, um, that are rectangle and ceramic. So I think I'll bring some of those. What else? I have a bunch of McCoy. Those are the McCoy um, wooden shoe planters. Some more of my pixies. I won't bring any, be bringing any pixies, but I will bring um, this beautiful thing. I love it. And that flower is in great condition. And these two matching, um, I, I think these are left in Lily of the Valley. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna bring these to see if I can find a home for them. So pretty. Look at those, how delicate they are. Okay, so I'm doing well. What else do I have? Those are my special ones up here at the top. Those are mine. Those are keepers. And a lot more pixies, pixie planters, bug planters. I love my clown planters as well. I know lots of people don't, but I do. Here are some that I think will be fun to bring. Let me bring a couple of children's planters. So I'll bring this, this horse in front of what looks to be like a big top circus horse. These little cuties can come too. I was going to save them for Easter, but I forgot to bring them out at Easter this year. And I think I'll bring all my ladies because um, I've had them for a while and I had a whole big collection at one point, but I liquidated it. And this is the last of them. So I think I'm going to bring all of them. I think people will like those. I do have a lot of kitschy planters, but I think I'm going to hold on to these for a while. What else is in here? A lot of donkeys. I think I'm going to deal with the donkeys another day. Yeah. But I do have this beautiful one. I just picked it up. So I think people do like these larger ones too that can be used for other purposes. Oh, I think I'm probably making people dizzy. And I have these two beautiful Shawnees as well. Um, I was going to save those for my niece, but uh, found some other ones that I'm going to give her instead because uh, she loves puppies and these are good solid planters. So I'll bring them a couple more rectangular planters back there. All right. I think I need some nice figural planters. So let's see what I have up here. Uh, I have some McCoy, some Shawnee. Those are ones I want to hold on to. It's hard to get rid of my planters. I love them. I've got my little planter car collection. I have a plan for those at some point. So I can't get rid of those. What else is down here? Oh, it's nice to look at it through the camera. I don't have to bend. So a bunch of cornucopia planters. I might grab one of those. Many, many more rectangular planters. And gosh, I don't even know what's down on the bottom. Yeah, those. Oh, for mid-century lovers, I think I will bring this planter. This is gorgeous. Look at this one. Isn't that nice? It's a great shape. What else is down there? Looks like another puppy planter. Oh, let's bring the elephant. I forgot I have this. So this is the problem when I don't go through this a lot. Um, pink is always popular. What is this planter? Oh, look at that. Look at that dragon planter. I'm keeping that. That's not going. What else do I have? Okay. Okay. I think I already pulled more than I said I would, but let's just take a look and see if there's anything else. Oh, this blue one is beautiful too. I think I'll bring that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have a Royal Copley horse. Let's take that as well. What else? Another lady back there. Gotta save my deer. Gotta bring my deers to my live sales. If you know, you know. Oh yes, this one. This is coming with me. This amazing mid-century beast of the savannah. Look at that in chartreuse. 
yeah, I'm going to bring this one too. I think that's pretty much going to use up the rest, rest of the space that I have in my, uh, in my spot at the, at the sale. So I'm going to get these cleaned up, packed up and priced. And I think that's it for tonight, everyone. I will see you in the morning when I get back to the location where we are having the vintage marketplace. Thanks so much. Thank you.